May I welcome on your behalf, Dr. Paul Nana to Close Flow. You're welcome to Close Flow. Thank you very much. Yeah. Now, um, let me start from uh, the uh, Afrobeat uh, uh, fella. Uh, water everywhere, water, water, but there is just no water for. But people can't even get water to drink. So, I is that the same thing we are talking about here? Not, not exactly. Not exactly. People are not drinking. That is even your own concern. Yes, that people are, are not, not drinking drink. water. Not even not drinking sufficient water. People are just not drinking water. They are probably drinking other things, hmm. but they're not drinking water. Now, so is this coming from the 70%? Well, people say that 70% of the human body is water. Is that where your premise is coming from? Yes, yes. And that, that water has to has to be replenished all the time, you see, because there's not um, there's not a reservoir in the body. Where you can store the water. Where you can store the water and pick it up to use. So we have to replenish the water all the time, even as we it gets used up in the body. Now, um, this has things to do with the fact that even in religion, water plays, I mean, from ancient Egypt to the Mayans to the Indians to whatever religion religious practice that you have water is very key to how the acolytes or the practitioners of that religion actually you know carry on with their with their worship and is that is, is it also related to all this um, not, not exactly but we 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 notice in the Bible you know that there was a lot of water in the Garden of Eden for instance it says a river flowed into the Garden of Eden and was divided into four river heads. The promised land that God gave to Israel was full of water. He spoke about water running down the mountains and fountains of water from the valley. There was water everywhere. everywhere. And you know, Moses hit the rock and there was water. And the um, Bible even spoke about the rock that followed the children of Israel. They had sufficient water. And and that water was alkaline because it was rocky. Now, you're you coming to a very gray area now. Mm -hmm. Many of us will probably be asking, so if the water is alkaline, that means the water is rich, or that doesn't mean the water is poisonous, or that means the water is lethal, or that the water is toxic? No, no, not none of those things that you have said. <laughs> um, God created the human body to function optimally in an alkaline environment. All right? That's and deep. Sorry? What you just said is deep. It is indeed, but we, we, anybody can understand it. It's simple elementary chemistry. All right? But by the functions of the body, there's a lot of acid waste that's released. And the acid waste should be neutralized all the time by alkaline water and you know maybe we will go into food but you find out that the food also that god recommended for human beings is alkaline based but we have deviated from all that from all that yes and that's why we have all the problems no, the no, health no. problems no no now okay let's come to this is your 40 now um, health issues okay medical issues that's right you have gone to medical school you have studied the anatomy of the human body. You have studied the physiology. You have studied everything to do with how the body functions or malfunction. Yes. Now, so, are you now saying that from your own experience that water can probably help to arrest some of the malfunctioning or proper functioning of the human body? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Um, you, you know, you know, orthodox medicine, medicine talks about... Um, the, the substances that are dissolved in the water. But like you said, the human body is about 70% water. And um, medicine is not talking so much about that amount of water, but medicine is talking about other things that are dissolved in the water. And so there's um, a shift. In alternative medicine, there's a shift to talk more about, that about the water. Mm. That's right, about that water. And, and um, um, it's common knowledge, you know, that um, 
a lot of the diseases, you know, that have become diseases that were diseases. Mm. All right. That headache is a sign of dehydration. That headache is a dis-ease with a hyphen. D -I -S, yes. Hyphen. Now you have separated the. Yes. The, you have broken it to pieces now. That's right. So there is no more ease. There's no in more the ease. Way the body functions. It's just mm. a warning sign. But if we do not do anything about it, if we do not replenish that water, the acid begins to accumulate and accumulate and begins to cause problems. You know, that's why um, a lot of the diseases today have actually, um, like I said, where this is, is, but because nothing was done, there were warning signs. Given to everybody. Be given to everybody. A car will give you warning sign before it breaks down. All right? So the body so also gives warning signs before it breaks down.